Reality Bites, proudly sponsored by S. Clift Foods. Welcome to Reality Bites for the second semi-final. Over the last two weeks we have seen Nathan and Sarah go head to head on the North Bank, with Sarah securing the first place in our grand final at Tipton Grange. Now we're at San Pietro's in Scunthorpe to see which of our two South Bank competitors will be joining her. Over the course of our heats, each student has been competing against another student from the same college. For our semi-finals, it's the college versus the college and last week we had East Riding up against Scarborough Tech. For the next two weeks, we have the winners from Grimsby Institute, Nikki, taking on the winner from Lincoln College, Ben. Here we are at San Pietro, great restaurant, two rosettes, Michelin recognition. I love this restaurant. Here's some more information on it. We wanted to take the, the concept of the Italian restaurant just that a little bit further and give a more fine dining um, experience of um, Italian food. So we bought this, this place, this um, grade two listed windmill, um, and extended it to make sure we had a, you know, a nice big purpose-built kitchen, new um, conservatory dining area, um, and refurbished the whole place, and we opened in 2003. Italian food, we genuinely, genuinely feel is kind of the, one of the most popular foods in the UK. It has a real sense of family and enjoyment and the flavours and ingredients are exceptional. Um, and that's something that we wanted to reflect here at San Pietro. Here we try to make, we buy the best ingredient that we can, especially with the fish, you know, fresh fish, fresh herbs. You know, we try to do, like we are in Sicily, in the seaside in Sicily, we try to do get much fresh fresh ingredient that we can, you know. We strive to offer exceptional standards and experience in, for the dining experience as well as the hotel experience. And we're proud that we've been regular winners of local competitions over the years we've been open. But more recently as well, we've been accredited with um, two AA rosettes, which is a national standard award, which puts us in the top 10% of restaurants in the UK, which is something we're really extremely proud of. Sea bream, in salt crust, shellfish risotto, sea vegetables, prosecco and anchovy espuma. Wow, what a good dish. Contestants got the work cut out today, but it is the semi-finals. Here is how they do it here at San Pietro's. To decide which student got to go first in the kitchen here today, we tossed a coin, with Nikki winning the toss and deciding she would go first. While she gets on with her prep, here's a recap on how she won her place in the semi-final. I felt that I was too old to come back. But then something in Sarah was like, no, you've got a passion for cooking, you enjoy cooking, and you're good at it. I think I'll do fine, I'll try my best, but if I don't win, end of the day, at least I've, at least I've done it. She 
she said straight away, it's tender, but the, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's over. As a dish, it works. The technical skills she's put into the plate, other than mm. the, the actual finishing of the venison, is very good. To this. It's not overcooked again. Yeah, it's overcooked. The sauce is slightly reduced. Yeah, it's a bit the too bitter, strength. really. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and like that, getting that balance of the, uh, the gastric. They do taste really good. Mm. So, the person that is going to be going through is. Well done, Nicky. As in the heat, the competitor gets one hour in the kitchen to prepare everything, and then one hour of cooking time. Nikki is getting on with it, so what is she preparing to accompany the restaurant dish today? A asparagus, mozzarella and prosciutto parcels with a basil vinaigrette. Okay, chef. Prep all done. All done. Complicated dish today. Yeah, there's elements to it that are complicated. Not worried. I'd be lying if I said I was a little not yeah. worried, but I'm a little worried. That'll come towards the end. Good. Just remember you remain calm. You know. So uh, good love, and your time starts now. Okay. Crack on. Nicky is first up in the kitchen, so it's Ben's turn to wait patiently for his turn in the kitchen. To obviously get into the semi-final obviously opens up doors, but just being here will open doors for me. It's good prospects for the future. I haven't had a lot of experience with uh, the seafood as in the clams and the mussels, but I'm open to it. It's a new experience, it's a new skill that I hope to practice and uh, work on well today. Obviously working in a new kitchen where you're very unsure of where everything is, it's the prep stage is more important than I first thought. Get, making sure that everything is where it needs to be and to, it'll save minutes. Those minutes really do count. I've chosen a Thai chicken and sweet potato soup uh, garnished with chicken breast and a onion bhaji and maybe an oil in there. I haven't quite decided on there. If I've got time, it'll be there. With this dish, it's everything sort of like last minute because you've got a that needs to reduce by three quarters, um, but you can't boil it, so obviously that's a slow process. The risotto, you can't really do that till last minute, or else you're just going to ruin it. My dish, I can't do till really last minute, um, and the fish only takes 15, 15, 20 minutes in the oven, so it's all going to be, and I'm already prepped, so it's all going to. Speak to me again in about half an hour. <laughs> Liz McTurnan has seen both of these competitors before and she is back today to help me judge their dishes. Okay Liz, back again, semi-final time here at San Pietro's. I know, it's really nice isn't it? See, this is going to be a step up for them this week, so hopefully there will be no wobbles, there will be nobody upset, they've got to step it up. The dish yep. is a really good dish. Um, what is it? It's a salt crusted sea bream. Oh, do you know what? I was hoping that someone would do fish at last. Mm. Okay. With a risotto, shellfish risotto, mm. sea vegetables, and then a prosecco and anchovy espuma. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea that. It's like an aerated uh, sauce. So okay. it's into a, uh, a canister gun, and then they have to reduce down, but they can't boil the prosecco because they need to keep it. So there's a lot of technical elements mm -hmm. to this dish, mm -hmm. but they've got to bring it all in at the same time, because if they don't, it's, it's not going to work. Yeah, everything. Right. So this is a really, but this is that what I said about a step up for them now. Sure. Semi-final time, it's crunch they've time. Wow, they? They've got a wow, and 
you know, we, we've gone through these heats and we've picked the best kids now that have come through. Mm -hmm. So this is now for them to kind of... Show their talent. Mm, so we've got Nikki and Ben. Great, yeah. So let's see. So what are you looking forward to? Obviously you want fish. I do want fish, <laughs> yeah. Because it, fish is very uh, difficult to cook, in fact. It's almost like the venison, isn't it? Mm. It's uh, the same. You can easily mm. overcook it. Um, and then use the flavour completely. Nikki oh. first, you see. So okay. she's quite an accomplished chef already. So yeah, she's so experience. yeah. Well, I think because she's mature as well. I mm -hmm. think she's she she seems really calm. I've been there twice now. She seems really calm. But then yes. she goes, yeah. But I always panic as soon as I've come up. Yeah, because I've put oh, everything in, and, okay, and, and then it seems better. to go wrong. So, so hopefully. But last time, if I remember, Ben was very good and he was very calm yes, all the was, way through. He? Yes even on his plate and he was very tidy methodical so well, I think we've got two contrasting contestants doing this yeah see how they get on I don't know it's just gonna be it's gonna so, be a hard decision then isn't it it's it. technically very mm. good wow. it's a big it's a big kitchen for them to be fair so okay, but maybe that will um won't work so well for them maybe because when you have a small kitchen mm. a small space you only have so much room to work but then also you have everything near you don't mm. you you can waste a lot of time running back and forth in a, in a bigger kitchen. Mm. Which would be good for you with all the fitness you do. <laughs> <laughs> it would, but I don't think my wheelchair would fit in the kitchen. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Join us in part two to see how Nikki gets on. Reality Bites. Proudly sponsored by S. Clift Foods. Reality Bites. Proudly sponsored by S. Clift Foods. Welcome back to Reality Bites at San Pietro's for our second semi final. Nikki is doing a restaurant dish, sea bream in a salt crust shellfish risotto, sea vegetables, prosecco and anchovy espuma, and I'm just about to go in to let her know she only has 30 minutes of cooking time remaining. Okay, chef, so uh, how are we getting on? You seem a bit calmer this time. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's just uh, everything, you can't cook everything sort of like now and then keep it warm, it's not that kind of dish. No. So. I feel this is a step up from the last round you've had? Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's more modern yes. than the last one. It's a great restaurant, this is anyway. Yeah, and uh, it's just the espuma gun I'm a bit scared of. A bit scared of it? You've not done yeah. it before? No. Okay. We didn't have any cartridges at college. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> so so this could be quite good fun then. It, well, it, I suppose it'd make good camera. <laughs> but yeah, it's just all about. Because you've got. With the anchovy and prosecco, you've got to reduce it, but you can't boil it. No. So I put that on first, and because I couldn't cook it in the prep hour, no. exactly. so I've had to put that on first. But I've got everything. That's for the risotto. That's my fish stock for the risotto. So we seem to be under control, as they say. Which is uh, nice to yeah. see. Well, one thing you did struggle with last time was making sure bringing it all together right at the end and having everything yeah, together. Yeah, that's what I said. If you come and speak to me in about <laughs> half an hour's time, maybe a different person then. Right. Okay. Okay but then. Fingers crossed. You've got 30 minutes. Yeah. Okay, so uh, good luck and uh, I'll come back and see uh, if you're much calmer when we're back. Fingers crossed I will be. Before the first dish of the day comes out to us, I wanted to find out what Piero was expecting from our competitors. So Piero, chef, really? yes, sir. great to see you. Same to you. So here at San Pietro's beautiful restaurant. Thank you. You've been comment. very established for a very long yeah, time. We've been here nearly 15 years now. It's good. Still keep it going. Yeah, you've had a, you, you've done you've done a lot over the last 15 years. Just with this place, it's be, it's an iconic building you have here. You've invested a lot of money into the restaurant. We make a bit money. We spend the money to mm. make, get better. The business get better and better. You know. How way. have you found coming to Scunthorpe and like your your style of food? Obviously, you, you're Italian. From Sicily, yeah, which is part of what you, how you cook as well, isn't it? Oh yeah, no, it, it starts to be difficult, but now customers start to get, you know, the experience is good, yeah. they like it, and you know, 
people will come here happy and they live happy. That's yeah. what we hope so, you know. So what are you looking for? What do you want? Because this is your dish. Yeah. You, you know, what, what are you expecting from them? I expect the, the risotto to be nice, nice flavour. It's got to be right if you're oh, Italian. Yes. <laughs> and they have to be nice al dente for me. You know? Yeah. And uh, for the, the fish, it's not overcooked. Mm. And the crust to be nice and easy to take it from the fish. Easy off to take it from the fish. Mm. That's the main thing on this dish. So. Simple, but good. Well, the thing is, most and I think people have forgotten a little bit with food now that we don't have to mess around mm. with good food. Like the sea bream needs to taste like sea bream. Of course. You're not rubbing it in chili yeah. and harissa or anything mm. else. You're making the fish taste like what it should be, and that's actually comes back to your heritage. That actually, yeah. food and ingredients are so good. Fresh and you know that's a fresh and good ingredient. Mm. You know. To make it a good dish, you know. Mm. Whereas, you know, if you look on Instagram and everything else, and everybody's like banging everything on everything, and you're like, many ingredients they go sometimes, and waste is the dish. I think. Oh, completely, it goes away. You might as well not put the sea bream yeah. on because there's too many flavours on that dish to, because it, it's not complementing anything. And actually, yeah, it's just yeah. So I'm looking forward to seeing, I and mean, she's doing an asparagus starter as well that she thinks is going to accompany this sea bream dish as well. So. We'll have to see how that balances out to see. We'll see now. If not, it might even go on your menu. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> right, thank you very much. You're I'll welcome. better go back in and see how she's getting on. Give her okay. a bit of G up. Okay, 10 minutes left. Confident? <laughs> yeah, not, kind not of. Not as, no. Is it 10 minutes? Yep. Yeah. Okay, what's your common dish you're doing today? Um, asparagus um, with mozzarella wrapped in prosciutto with a basil vinaigrette. Okay, nice. So you've chosen a starter to do um, this time, not dessert? No, because given the time. Yeah. And it's a simple but nice dessert that goes with, a uh, starter that goes with. So it's going to complement your sea bream, yeah? Yeah. Good. Okay then. Let's get 10 minutes, make sure it's all on the plate, otherwise we can get marked down. This is semi-final time. Right. Okay, one minute. Okay, well done. Stressful. That's time. Let's go eat. Hello, so what do we have? The asparagus, mozzarella and prosciutto parcels with a Basil vinaigrette. Okay. Sea bream in a salt crust with sea vegetables, anchovy and prosecco, espuma, and a shellfish risotto. Mm. Do you want to put the espuma on? Okay. Yes. How have you found it? Really difficult. I've yeah. been out of my comfort zone, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, you, you, you seemed, at first you was okay and then... I'm all right with all the prep and everything like that and getting it all together. But, um, you know, that's not reality. The reality is to make sure that we... And that's why I'm at college. Yeah, which I think you've done a great job. The food looks nice. We'll have to see how it uh, tastes. Okay, thank you very right. much. The risotto, the risotto, the risotto, the risotto, very good. Mm. Mm. Thank okay. you. All right. Thank you very much. Okay then guys, so we've got two dishes, so she's got the asparagus mozzarella and parma ham dishes I think she said, and then obviously your dish chef. Yeah. So what do you first think on looking at that dish without eating? The risotto looks good, because mm. we need to try it, but the seed brim, you see all this green stuff here, mm. still the salty, you know, when you taste Maybe the only thing, salt. maybe uh, the only thing, the fish be too salty. Mm. That's the only thing I'm scared on the sea bread, you know? Mm. This is not supposed to be there, all this bit of salt. No. Because the crust 
steak with the fish. Mm -hmm. it's supposed to be nice, white, clear mm. color, you know? Okay. We'll, mm. see, we'll try in a minute, then we'll see. What about the espuma? The espuma, too liquid, you mm -hmm. know? It's supposed to be more dense, Fruity. more fluffy, fluffy one. I think it's too, still too warm. Yeah, she, so I, yeah. Mm. she was still reducing yeah. when I bought it. It's supposed like, to be do an early stage okay. and then to be ready now, the next hour, you know? Mm. So I think she's the last did it last minute. Last minute job. Yeah, which is still warm. So the salt, the skin is it's all salted from the skin side, but not on the actual fish. Yeah, it's supposed mm. to be the flipped it over, flipped it over yeah. cooked mm. it on the skin side, and then it should be okay. You're looking for risotto in Italian, you know. You're looking for an al dente. I will tell you straight. Risotto, <laughs> <laughs> oh. too lemony, I think. Mm. So is it? Is it al dente enough? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Then it, maybe, maybe, the cooking wise is there, but the flavor too lemony. Mm. Yeah. No, it is very lemony. Mm. The texture of the rice is nice. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It is. Not overcooked. Mm. No water. How's that fish for you? Is it salty? It's got a little bit moist. Yeah. When you get another, yeah, you're getting quite a lot of salt. You can. You can fill the salt to the end, you know? With the samphire as well. Samphire is good, I mm. think. But this, you see, the, you see mm. the, the, this little... It's very... That's what... Mm. You know, it's a good dish, but, you know, it's too a bit too salty, you know? And the, like, the spuma doesn't go anywhere. It's not, it's gone. Mm. You know, so it's not even like... I can't even taste it, because it it's all gone. I think, the only thing I think they... The salt crust, it was a bit too wet, mm. and the stick mm. on the fish. Oh, and then if you tried to yeah. peel it off. So would you be happy with that, what you need to think yeah. about? Would you be happy if you was in the restaurant? Send it back. You'd send it back, saying that was too salty, you wouldn't... Yeah, it would be way, way too overpowered. I like, quite like salt, um, yeah. but that's way too much. Okay, so let me know that. We'd better try her asparagus. You know, it's not overcooked. I think that's... The mozzarella is still there. It doesn't look very like there's a lot of finesse with it. It's pretty mm. much just banged on a plate. The parma hand is it's quite salty. Tea as well, as yeah. Well. Mm. So you've got salt and salt. Yeah. So probably wouldn't, to me, match. I'd rather have parmesan on top of it. Mm. Shaving parmesan. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's just simple and perfect. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, this was a difficult dish mm. to do, especially the salt crust. It's mm. not sure. easy. Mm. Sure. Mm. You know. It's no mm. special yeah. on the call, it's no easy to make that. But I think that she was nearly there, you know? Yes, and the yeah. result is nice, mm. cook al, al dente. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And nicely presented. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so we've just had Nikki's cook off here at San Pietro's. She's had a little bit of a mare, but she's still doing a good job. So tune in next week to see how Ben gets on here at San Pietro's. Bites, proudly sponsored by S. Clift Foods.